No. Uh, da, 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 da. Reincarnate. <laughs> That's a dead or human in piece of, of a dead human. I provided that the creature has been dead no longer than 10 days. Aw, oh, damn it. So yeah, it would not affect. It is just a skull. So yeah, I'm just like, Ugh. unfortunately, this guy is, this guy is too far gone. As much Dang. as it would have been nice to have a, a new travel buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Logan's got caught onto our tricks. <laughs> no. <laughs> You can't revive every dead body in the dungeon, all right? <laughs> but I want to make new friends. You're not an necromancer. <laughs> but the after uh, after maybe an well, no, you guys wouldn't stay there long enough to see. So the trap just kind of sits there hanging open for a while. Oh, so it like can reset itself? You don't know. You you could wait and find out, but you don't know how long that would take. Yeah, it'll probably just... It'll probably be fine. Yeah, probably. So, like, we leave. All right. Taking, of course, the journal yeah, and you some of the maps. Um, Tail says that it is written by someone named Armin. Armin. Or at least that's who the owner was. Armin Hammer? <laughs> Armin, the hammer Can't of... Can't see that I'm shaking hammer. my head. <laughs> Armin, the Hammer of Justice. But you can continue on down the path if you'd like. Yeah. All right. Are you checking for traps now, or are you going to just go? No, let's check for traps. Yeah. So it'd be at a slow pace. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be. You know, making headway, but easily enough, you could check for traps. Go ahead and whoever's checking, give me a perception check, and you have advantage uh, now. I have a ten. With advantage. I got a Sixteen. Yeah, oh, I got a 10. You, you go I got a 10 with advantage. Oh my goodness. I got a 16. <laughs> All right. So you're both being very careful. You're checking you're checking around the walls. Each time you come to a door, you look in front of it. You look above it. Make sure there's nothing. Um, you don't find any traps for a while. But eventually as you round, the, the corridor starts to turn into a round angle. and curve around to the left. And if, at one of its points um Kona, you notice it first and you stop snap just in time before he steps on it but there's a pressure plate in front of you <gasps> and it's just could be bad yeah you don't know what it leads to but it's in front of you uh if i look around do i see what any openings that it could activate give me uh, an investigation check I also get advantage on those things to Dungeon Dilver. Uh, da, 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 da. 15. 15. So, you scan along the room, and you know, not the room, the hallway, and you notice along the curve, there's what looks like the best way to describe it is on either side of the curve are two tiny rails that kind of snake down from the top to the bottom, spanning the length of the curve. And as you're looking at it, you realize it's not like a rail. It's like an indent. And you can see, um, as you get close to it, without stepping on the pressure plate, you can see inside there looks to be large blades that looks like they oh, they stick out. Trap. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. This would be really good for, like, chopping watermelons. <laughs> or a very good way to just get rid of a, a young redhead in a purple dress. What are you referring to? Scooby-Doo. Oh, yes. Hmm. Let's keep going. All right, so you circumvent the trap. Yes. You continue on. Um, you're still checking for traps, so go ahead. Yeah, I'll, if you'd like, you can roll another perception check, or you can keep what you have. I would like to roll another one. All right, roll. I got another 16. Perfect. I got hmm. a 17 this time. All right. Oh. 
so you both continue on, and you notice that this this section of the fort is a lot more dilapidated, dilapidated, a lot more um, destroyed. It looks like landslides and earthquakes have, you know, there's rooms that are completely sh just full of rubble. And so far, all the rooms you've passed have been very uninteresting. They've been plain bedrooms or bunks, bunk houses. Nothing really stands out to you. But as you continue forward, mm. eventually you see the hallway kind of open up into a chamber. And as you step in, you both almost, almost fall as you realize that this section of the fort is completely gone and has been sunken into a sinkhole. Ooh. I open up the bag of holding. I guess it's cleaning time. Your broom. Whoop. sit on the broomstick and pat the back for my brother to get on. I also get on. All right, you guys going begin down. With the dancing lights you go to you begin to descend. Yeah. And as you're I'm descending the lights kind of the the four lights are going to start like circling around us while we're on the broom, kind of like a little UFO. Okay. Yeah. You continue to lower and lower until eventually you start to see what looks like ground coming towards you at the bottom. But then you realize it's water. Oh. And you realize it's oh, a lot no. of water. It's it's oh, like an no. underground lake that the, the fort has sunken into. You can see sticking out of the water are little sections of the building. You know, man-made stone, not natural stone. Mm. Just sticking out of different angles. So it's deep. Gauging. Give me uh, intelligence checks, both of you. To <laughs> gauge the depth. Uh, 16. 16. And snap. Da -da -da. 11. 11. I'm not a clever cold yeah. bald. Snap, you think it's at least 100 feet deep. Kona, it's like 40. <clears throat> hmm. Still more than us. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to you. Yeah. But as you both... I have a ring of swimming, though, so I can swim in that if need be. All right. And I have that plate mail. How... And you can just turn into a fish. Yeah. How close to the water are you getting? I would say um, not very close. Because yeah, we exactly. do know that there is a... Uh, an a monster who has a, a monster that has a very close affinity to water. All right. I'm gonna send the four lights down into the water. Okay, they disappear without breaking the surface, and they how deep are you sending them? I'm gonna send them. How far can I send them? Um, I can send them 120 feet. I'm gonna send them like the full length. So 40 feet down. Yeah. Okay. So you send them and they submerge and they kind of illuminate and you can see the water is brackish, very murky. But mm. coming, you see immediately, you hear splashing, loud splashing coming from your right, somewhere in the distance. And after a few minutes, you begin to see a shape kind of like encircling the um, dancing lights. Mm. Interesting. I'm guessing that's the thing we need to be worried about. And it, you can Are see, there any ledges in this room? Um, there's not ledges, but you can probably... Some of the stonework is large enough that you could stand on top of it. Yeah, let's... I'm gonna uh, but, like, what's the, risk, what's the risk of that thing crawling up to get us? It's, I don't think it can crawl. It, let me... It, you... Let me look. <laughs> I don't think Aboliths can climb... Well, like, if it can jump out of the water, too. Well, knowing Amelis, oh, you would know that they have a, a land speed of 10 feet and a swim of 40. So it could come after us. Well, if you mm. pick a tower, it's not the stone structures are kind of like towers. And, and the way they're set up, they've, they've impacted vertically. So they're maybe like oh, 20... So they're, they're like 20 feet above the water. They're okay. sticking up out There's, of the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll land on top of one of them. All right. And that is where we will end it for tonight. <laughs> okay.